Hey guys, this is 4K60 with both the S20 Plus and S20 Ultra. And I'm gonna walk around uh, front facing camera, starting off this video. I know you guys asked for this, so I will be doing this as well as also adding the iPhone as well, trying to pay attention to what you guys want. But you know, I'm in the sun there, so I'm gonna face the other way. And you can clearly see the skies and I'm gonna walk into this direction. And you get a good idea of what this camera actually does. I'm going to walk a little bit faster, front facing, and then let's switch to the rear. Now, recording with the iPhone 4K60, the front facing camera, walking outside, doing the same thing that I did. And I'm going to just turn around, so I'll face the other way. And you can clearly see the sky. And then we're going to walk in that direction two and then we'll switch over to the rear camera and you hear how it sounds wind all that fun jazz as well so let's switch to the front face the rear camera now here's the rear camera of the iphone one of the benefits is you can switch lenses so i can go all color wide sorry i can go 2x i can go 1x i have to start recording ultra wide first to switch over but you get the idea Good idea of stabilization and also the microphone and then we'll switch over to super steady on both uh, the galaxy devices and we'll continue this video now speaking of the rear camera 4k 60 this is of course walking with both the s20 ultra and the s20 plus i'm gonna add the iphone as well separately but you guys will see how that actually functions. And then we'll move to good old Super Steady. Yeah. All right, guys, it's windy. Let's go with Super Steady. Woo! crazy hopefully you guys enjoyed that so starting with the rear cameras you can see all images look good the s20 plus and ultra are sharp big shout out to justin my trainer here for being my model in this photo and you can see the details behind with the buildings but everything is just much more focused and sharper on the s20 plus and ultra while the iphone is just a bit on the uh, fuzzier side now when it comes to this shot outside the building here you can see the iphone is a little bit clearer and sharper and also more representative to the natural colors more contrast on the 20 plus and also the ultra itself now when we move to our very next image here this is a live focus portrait shot for i don't know what happened with the iphone here uh, but the iphone is also the more brighter image is more contrast with the 20 plus and the ultra and you can see that contrast continue here again with the 20 plus has more of a uh, contrast and darker feel to it as opposed to the ultra and the iPhone is more representative of the natural colors now going to the ultra wide both the uh, s20 plus and ultra have the wider ultra wide lens uh, all images look really nice and sharp uh, I like the details so you would see around where within the buildings you know the scaffolding on the left hand side so all, all these images come out pretty well now we go to the main lens here you can see again all images are nice uh, different color palettes and tones between the s20 plus and ultra something you can pick and choose but i like the look i think the ultra and the s20 plus are a little bit brighter and a bit more sharper and when we go to the 2x zoom again you can see a more consistent but there's more contrast with the s20 plus and ultra as opposed to the iphone 11 pro max and then when we move over to 5x zoom here uh which we kind of 4x zoom sorry which we uh also did digitally for the iphone the iphone did well with the digital 4x zoom in daytime but again it's much sharper on the ultra then second is the s20 plus now at 10x zoom you can see where the ultra shines really sharper image as opposed to the galaxy s20 plus which is nice but not as sharp uh, as the uh, ultra here and then we move over to 30x zoom where on the s20 plus you can see it's very very grainy while the ultra is still sharper and a little bit more detail to it uh so that's something to see and of course 
we know there's a 100x zoom on the S20 Ultra, uh, but that's something that it's really not usable as you can see with uh, uh, the details here. So now as we move over to our front facing camera here, portrait shots, don't know what happened with the iPhone. I tried a couple of shots here. It was also misty, maybe that's why, but I do like the sharpness that the Ultra and the S20 Plus actually bring to this image. And then when we move over to uh, a now solid front facing uh, portrait shot here, you can see the iPhone, it, some people will say it's true to my skin tone. Yes, it, it is partially, but it's also really softer image while the Galaxy S20 Plus and Ultra is much sharper and more detailed and still lightening up a little bit. But again, this is, is something that you have to see with you know cameras from uh, the Galaxy line itself. Now, as we move over to nighttime video here, this is quite interesting. So the S20 Ultra, you can see the autofocus is having issues. The S20 Plus autofocus is much better and, and focus while the iPhone 11 Pro Max is is autofocus is good the iphone 11 pro max has the better stabilization uh, at this point but also the darker image and less clear image while the ultra and the s20 plus have a much sharper image in total so that's just something to take note here even though the best stabilization is from the iphone 11 pro max and then when we go to nighttime selfies the iphone 11 pro max doesn't have a, a night mode so it's just why i'm showing this separately for you guys here uh but this is just showing you the the bar the lightings a lot of reds a very grainy image and we'll see how of course the ultra and the s20 plus compare so the ultra does a much better job in trying to recover my skin tone and also blocking off a lot of that red light coming in the s20 plus basically heightens the image but still keeps a lot of that red light coming in uh, and the different lights you see there's, there's some, some red there's some blue uh some some incandescent yellow lights as well but the ultra does a better job here with the front facing camera now here's the shot with the main lens all three images look really nice i do like the plus and the ultra much better because they are much sharper and more detailed and also the images in the back don't look as soft while the iphone has softer images at the back but again these are still really good shots it's just you know the ultra and the plus look really nice with just the sweat on the uh on the glasses there now on this shot here um everything looks really solid i do like the way the iphone claims the red as opposed to the blurring a little bit on the ultra and the plus but the details are nice overall here we're using the main lens of all uh three cameras and then when we move over to 2x zoom you can see this is where the plus and ultra really shine it's more focused uh you can see there's a lot of red leaking into the iphone 11 pro max and also uh, iphone is trying to whiten the glasses and the tabletop below the colors that are more realistic are from the ultra and the s20 plus within the setting uh, but again there's a lot of lighting going on here now moving up to 4x zoom which of course uh the iphone doesn't necessarily have uh except it's digital you can see how much detail you still get with the S20 Ultra and the S20 Plus. Really solid in terms of zoom. I think a lot of people will definitely uh, like that. And then as we move forward to the uh, 10x zoom, you can see uh, the S20 Ultra also gives you more detail. You can actually see the notes clearly while on the S20 Plus, it's a bit more of a digital and kind of oil plate painting not a sharp an image while well, you can see the spelling of the alcohol bottle on the right you can see the dollar note you can read all the letters in the dollar note so that's pretty impressive with the s20 um ultra i think uh, that really does a good job in low light situations and here is of course an ultra wide shot which the iphone doesn't have a night mode for so i'm just keeping it between the ultra and the s20 plus a lot of details more sharpness a little bit brighter on the ultra than the s20 plus but it's really close in terms of the images here i think you can't go wrong with either one uh of these images and you can see how clear and sharp it is again very low settings in the bar in terms of the, just the lighting effects now this is a shot outdoors that i wanted to show just to finish up this video you can see all three this is a really dark um uh, yard this is what's next to where i did the nighttime video and you can see the details that the ultra brings in as well as the s20 plus uh, while the iphone is a little bit softer and is trying to brighten up the overall all scene it's just something to really take note to see how different they play again all images are bright and sharp but i think the ultra and the s20 plus 
give you the best uh, sharpness overall. So there you have it, guys. If you have any questions or any comments about any of these three phones, who do you think has the better camera, whether it's in daytime, nighttime, or video, leave your thoughts down below. I think, you know, they, they all have their strengths and weaknesses, but I think the plus really stands out on its own here. So leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.